What's up guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video. So today we are talking about the Samsung's latest One UI 7 release or rather let's say the One UI 7 leaks from the Android headlines. So the Samsung's One UI is currently one of the best user interface in the Android world of phones. So latest leak or exclusive information shared by the Android headline suggests that the One UI 7 brings some really useful enhancements to make your interactions easier and more eye-pleasing. We have some really clear picture on how it looks and what changes you can expect with the upcoming latest update. So first off, we have the new icons or we can say refreshed icons, which is more eye-pleasing and easy to differentiate between the apps, unlike some of its competitors where the icons still look the same and boring. So guess which user interface I'm talking about. Now the Samsung is also introducing new smart notification management where you can prioritize or tap and hold for instantly reply anything or even to get more options. And the lock screen itself has been enhanced and made more functional than before. On the lock screen itself, you'll see this time at the bottom, we have got some live tiles where you can customize and interact with it without having to unlock your phone. That's uh, really cool at first glance and is also quite functional, I would say. But personally, I think the positioning should have been a little above the shortcut icons which have been already been sitting there for ages now those uh, tiny icons of the call function as well as the camera shortcut right so talking about the notification bar here so when you swipe down from the above the changes to any toggles or the entire space has been redesigned and i am not really a fan of it so i think the earlier versions of the one ui had better arrangement and look good good so it was quite easy there so what's your opinion on the new notification as well as this shortcut access menu let me know in the comment section down below now next up we have some improvements in the circle to search feature here so you can now take google help to solve maths as well as physics problems as well as with the history subject as well to understand better through the videos and informative search results without having to like switch to any third party applications. So that's really cool there. Now Samsung is also adding more parental controls to keep your kids in check and safe. So you can now track their location as well, which is really helpful. Now next up, the gallery app and photo editor we have been waiting for. Now it has been completely revamped. So you'll get even more features now. Now Samsung's photo editor, as you guys know, was lacking behind its competitors and looks like now with the new update it's finally going to be fixed so i'm really keen on looking what the gallery update will be here because with the special effects or let's say even the editing options were quite limited even though you have some controls about the changes in brightness contrast basic stuff but still in depth compared to the competitors such as xiaomi's hyper os or even color os fun touch os so you have plenty of features and options there to change many things but now finally samsung is bringing that you also have the ai effects live focus and live effects which will help you add effects and bring in more styles and better look to your pictures now with the help of ai it can learn as well as make your images look to your taste and certainly will stand out on social media so that's the thought they are having there so to bring in more ai features on the other hand we have the samsung health app so which is very underrated in my opinion is one of the best app out there that not only helps you with your wellness data but also has plenty of options to help you stay fit and motivated now with the new update it's giving your energy score so that you can change your lifestyle for the better based on the score so these were some of the leaks and we are yet to see what improvements they have uh, quite made with the camera application the user interface and all and much more expected soon so stay tuned for the update what's your opinion on this new update which is your favorite user interface let me know in the comment section down below and as always don't forget to click on that subscribe for big geek so if you are new here do share it with your friends hit that like button and i will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye